Hello and welcome to another Applied Energy 6.2 tutorial. In this video I will only talk about the P2P tunnel, how to craft, how to set it up and with some basic and simple examples I will demonstrate how it works and give you ideas of how to use it. So these examples will be quite basic they won't serve any purpose except for just demonstrating how the connection works so it's up to you to do the advanced implementations later so let's begin with crafting no problems with the recipes nothing strange we have the engineering processor as a base and now we have seven of them so p2p it's a point-to-point -point network. This means that we can connect two points, two different points in a network to each other and transfer items or RF power or industrial craft power or fluids. So, but we have to configure them differently to do that. So let me first set these up all the seven parts or the seven units as you can see the p2p tunnel is an me tunnel as standard so if you want to use it for me there is no problems just use it as it is and we use these items to configure them so let's say i want to use this one for redstone signals right click with the piece of redstone and it's configured for redstone light then use a torch there are other items you can use as well these are just examples but uh, you get the idea so this p2p tunnel with will transfer light with some industrial craft cable we configure it for to transfer eu bucket of water for fluid an energy cell for rf power and and with a chest to transfer items so but now they are configured now they are prepared but we don't know where they're going so to do that we need the memory card calculation processor as a base now we have a memory card the whole point with p2p tunnels is that you can transfer or connect one point to many points. In these examples I will only use one point but you can of course you can uh, I don't know if there's an upper limit but you can connect one power input to many power outputs or one light input to many light outputs. So let's begin with this one. I want to use this to transfer fluids so I configure it, fluid, to this one, fluid. You can notice in the Vela tooltip in the top that it changed to fluid. So now let me place some portable, uh, portable tank. And as you notice over there, I have had an empty portable tank over there. But now if I would try to to uh, yeah to transfer the liquid nothing happens because i haven't configured the where this tunnel goes so by shift right clicking with the memory card you can see successfully saved settings and i go over here and i right click on this one all of a sudden we get water from here to here and you can have lots of water outputs at different places this is a very convenient way to to distribute water throughout the system throughout the base via your ME system you can also see now when we're standing back here that all of these tunnels they require one channel in the network they are in so 
Here I have the yellow network. It's from this ME controller. I have a dense cable going out and I have seven units on this side and seven on this side. So, but this network doesn't do anything else. It doesn't contain any items or anything. It will just be a bridge to for all these tunnels. So let's move on with the yeah, energy cell it could be a good one. Over here we have an what's well, a hardened energy cell. It's empty. So then let us configure it by right clicking with the energy cell itself. Here you can see P2P tunnel RF. And let's do the same over here. No problem. Now, if I want to place my energy cell here, same thing as a last time, nothing will happen until we configure it. So shift right click and right click. And now we have power here. So this could be a power network or, or a single machine or yeah, you, you get the idea. Now the RF is transferring and we can move on with the next one. So items, as I said before, right click with the with a chest and then it's just up to us to load some items inside. So for example, yeah, I don't need these anymore, I think, but they end up in the hopper. They won't go anywhere until we Shift right click and right click. It's like magic. It's wonderful. Let's move on when we're while we're at it. We have an MFE. Let's see if I can configure this to point downwards. Shift right click. Yep, yeah, that's good. Four hundred 4 million EU and let's see then we use the copper cable here and then you can see it connected directly and I will demonstrate it here as well it's not connected as it is now but as soon as it's configured for EU it will connect and now we only shift right click and right click again and we get EU power into this MFE and this one will be emptied, of course. Yes, of course. Next, I will demonstrate the redstone. So this one simply transfers a redstone signal. Let me demonstrate. Shift right click and right click. And thanks to the Vela tooltip, we can see that we have redstone power of 14 here. And here we have still 14 power. And if I remove this one, of course it will go dark again here. But let's say we want to use this in some way, we can put a redstone lamp. Then we can configure this one to be a light with a torch and this one as well. And let's place that one there and put the redstone. And then we configure that from this shift right click and right click. If this is correctly configured, we should have light on this side. Let's set to midnight. As you can see here, we have lights here. And it should go black. Yeah, there it is. Perhaps a convenient way or a cool way to distribute lights to your entire base through ME network. It's up to you to decide. We have one final demonstration to do before this video is finished. Here is the, the standard, the ME P2P tunnel. 
So here I have an ME terminal and a N controller. There's nothing in it. This is not a real network. However, on this side, I have the same green network going into some kind of storage room. There's nothing in them, it's just for demonstration. I have the power on this side, but this network doesn't work because we don't have any channels. Well, we have, <laughs> we have more than eight channels, that's why it's not working. So let's go back and make this happen. Connect. As you can see, it connect, connects directly, but it doesn't work because it doesn't know where to go. So shift right click and hmm. there we are and there it popped up. So here you can see we have this all 32 channels filled up. We have the terminal working, we can put items in, no problems at all. But we have the power on that side, we have all the storage on that side, and we have the ME controller on this side. So the green network just goes in and comes out. So the green network has nothing to do with the yellow one, they're not connected. You could, you could share power if you use some quartz fiber to connect the power from yellow to green and then you wouldn't need that energy cell, but they are totally separate in terms of networks. So that's everything I wanted to demonstrate in this video. All these, these seven are the ones that are currently supported. If there are more coming, they will work in similar ways. You can always check the video description if I have any news or if I have any further explanations. And of course you should check there because there are always good information there. So thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful to you. If not, feel free to leave me a comment and a question. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.